But what about editing on a computer? It's a question we get asked a lot because we work with smartphone video so much. And we're going to answer this today with an awesome tutorial about editing on a computer with DaVinci Resolve 16. My name is Dean Parman from TravelVids.tv, the place where you get to learn how to make videos the easy way. And this is the editing tutorial walkthrough for DaVinci Resolve 16. So why DaVinci Resolve 16? What was the reason for that? Well, there's two actually. The first one is because it's free. And the second is because it's both available on Mac and PC. As a Mac user, my first choice in editing app is Final Cut Pro 10, Final Cut Pro X. But in this case, I wanted to make a tutorial that was accessible to both and that it was free. Now, does this mean that it's an inferior editing suite? Actually, no, not at all. DaVinci Resolve is a fully comprehensive, all-out, uber duber flippin' cool. It's got everything you could ever possibly need. And even in the free version, you've got everything you need. Also, they've laid out the system very nicely with uh, separate tabs across the bottom of the screen, which you'll see just now, which actually take you through the editing process from beginning to end, from the import to the trimming, editing, uh, adding your special effects, and then exporting. Final Cut for me has a much easier layout when you get into it. It seems more simple uh, than DaVinci Resolve, which is full of buttons and full of options and a whole bunch of things. But at the end of the day, if you know what you're looking for, you can ignore all of that and just go straight for that button, that one, that one, and get done with the edit. Because at the end of the day, that's exactly what we want you to achieve. We want you to have Film some clips of a moment, of an experience, whatever it is that you captured, and get it into a compiled edit as fast and as easy as possible. So that's why we did this tutorial. We want to show you how to make that video in DaVinci Resolve right now. So I'm going to go over to my computer over there and walk you through the process from beginning till end. First things first, let's open DaVinci Resolve 16. Now, if this is the first time you're opening a desktop editing app, or for, in this case, the first time you're opening DaVinci Resolve, uh, we're going to look at it from a complete and utter fresh start. I haven't got any other projects in here before. So you'll get this window that pops up that'll ask you to open an old project. We don't have any. So at the bottom here, we're going to start a new project. Always name your project so you can find it again later in the screen. This is the coffee shop edit, and let's create that. All right, welcome to the DaVinci Resolve 16 interface. Now, for a lot of people, this can be quite overwhelming, especially depending on what screen you land on with all these different controls and settings. It might feel like you've uh, arrived in the cockpit of an aircraft with a million buttons. My intention with this tutorial is to take you through the process step by step from beginning to end and only look at exactly what we need to get a video from clips that you've now stored on your computer to a finished edit that you can upload to a platform online or share with your friends and family. The great thing about DaVinci Resolve is that they have these uh, chapter markers at the bottom here, these tabs, which take you through the process from beginning to end. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the media cut and a little bit at the edit. We'll skip over the effects and then also just look at the exporting options, which will be nice and quick and easy. All right, first thing, we're going to start at this tab here. So make sure you've clicked on the media tab. And in this area over here, you can browse your computer. In my case, I've stored my uh, clips on the hard drive under a folder called footage. We open that up and here they are. So you can select only one or two if you want. And when you've got those, you drag them into this area at the bottom here, which is called your media pool. You can just drop those in there. Uh, if this pops up, it means that the project settings have been auto created. 
if this will ask to sync the whatever these clips are with that and I would click change because this way it'll automatically make the right project settings for me for these clips then you could go to a different folder and find clips from a different project or from a, a different shoot and merge them all up into this pool here in my case I want all of these because as you've seen in our course or in our tutorials you must always get exactly what you need and only what you need into the editing program and also always make sure that they're nice and short those four to six second clips um, so we're only working with exactly what we want all right so these are these are the ones that i have prepped um, from my shot list and i'm going to work with them so we can move straight on to the second tab which is the cut tab here we have three main components on our screen this is where the media is the media pool that we've just created over here will be our preview once we get our timeline building and then at the bottom here we have a dual timeline a split timeline there's a overview at the top here this this little narrow piece and then a big broad timeline to see the actual clips here you'll see why that is there in just a moment the idea in the cut um, tab is for us to place the clips in the right order into the timeline to trim them down and also to make sure that they are um, sort of uh, yeah in the right order as I just said and you can always move them around if they're not the best way to do this is you you can kind of scrub over them to see what you if it's the right clip for now if you can't see like this you can always drag them in into the timeline just drop that there and then you can scrub over here to make sure that it definitely is the clip you were looking for then you just take a moment to go put the rest of the clips in and drag them in slide to the back of the timeline and pick the next one from that we're going to get some water and the next one will be actually the filling of the water the nice close-up and the, let's get the coffee in there uh, let's pour some water over that and yeah that's the next one let's go with this one and serving us and then me receiving it and we've still got this wide okay that one we're going to want to put in the front somewhere so i forgot that here so this is a good opportunity to show you what it looks like if we want to take that one and squash it in there and it's a nice long, a long, long clip. Uh, it just moves it around. So you can grab these and move them to a new location if you need to. Uh, when you're moving them around, um, you must just be careful not to drop them on top like this because it'll go into a second track, which is great for overlays and B-roll. Uh, we're not going to go into that in this video, but that's how you do it. Um, also, if you're dropping it in the second one, just make sure that you wait till you see that little highlighted blue mark like that there again and you let go because then it'll actually place it between the clips and not overlay them just a small thing to look out for but there's that one that one okay and all the way to the back again we want to get this one with the owner of the coffee shop just telling us a little bit about it that's it and sometimes I like to just use the sign uh, board, that one, at the back again. So you can drag and drop it into here as well. All right. So that's me and my timeline. I'm pretty happy with that sort of layout and, and we're going to play through it. So the next phase of the edit is to cut, as the tab suggests. We're going to use our counting method as we did with the filming to just get the right amount of beats for this edit so we first want to find the right part the start you know often there's a little bit of a shake in the beginning sometimes we want to clip that off so once you've got that there you can highlight that push trim 
and you'll see it'll, it'll split this clip into two. You take the little one and you delete it. Now we know we've got the right start. And as I push spacebar, which is to play, I go and one and two and cut. That little bit at the end, again, I'm gonna cut that off over there, highlight the little piece. To delete that, I can select it here because it's a whole lot bigger and just hit delete and that's gone. So the next one, wait for my start point, that's not it, and just wait for it, and there we go. So again, we're going to highlight that over there, we're going to cut that, take the front piece and delete it, and now one and two and three and four and stop, I'm going to cut that and delete the back section because I don't need it. Now, in my case, I already know these are going to be too long, so I'm going to make them even shorter. So, and one and two and plenty. I don't want more than that. I can just trim that down with the, the handlebar. So, and one and two and stop. Highlight. You can either cut and trim and delete it as I did earlier, or you can grab this handlebar, that, and drag it down. All right. Next one. To the, to the clip. Should I get the, the real taste of the bean? There we go. I'm going to highlight that, trim it, take the piece, delete it. The bean. See, I didn't like that beginning section, so we trim that off, delete, and one and that's it. One and cut. Delete that. Go. And one and cut. And one and no. Don't want that section. Let's move that. Let's go clip it off. Take that, delete, and one, and done. Trim. So this is how it's supposed to be. Your clips are short. You're flying through it. You wait for the that focus. We trim the front off, and one, and cut. And every time I say cut, I'm pushing the space bar to stop it again, so space to play. So let's go to the front of the clip. And there we go, I need to get rid of the front. And I'm gonna hit space to play and space to stop. So space, and one, and cut. Hit the space bar again. Tap that, cut it, highlight and delete. And because we've had so many ones back to back, we're going to now go with a little bit more of a, uh, say, a two beat. So, and one and two and cut. Drop that off. And here we go again. Let's clip that off. Don't want the front. And one and two and cut. So it's just that little piece left on there. I'm just gonna drag that off like that. So you can see I missed the shot. He said, here you go. And then I missed it. I wasn't recording. So I asked him to do it again. See that? So we definitely don't want me saying that. We're gonna clip that off. There we go don't want the rest of that clip. So we get rid of it. Nice and short and sweet. Perfect. Again, we want to keep them short and sweet. So we clip off that front. I don't need the whole motion because their viewer already understands that the coffee's arriving. There we go. That's it. Don't need more. I didn't even count that, but I know that it's probably and one and cut. It's a feeling that you start developing the more you count it out. So you just, you do get used to it. See, everybody knows I'm taking a sip. We don't need the full thing. I'm gonna lose this front section. Oh, wow. That is amazing. And man, you know, we wanted people to get in touch. So there's again a pause in front of the jaw here. We go there. I want to trim that off so it gets straight from me going to the talking. Let's have a look at how that looks. <laughs> what are you doing? 
and you know we wanted people to get in touch with where coffee comes from whether it's the green the producers but as well as who roast the coffee it doesn't come from some mysterious factory in italy we roast it right here that's it and that's origin we leave that a little bit longer for the outro that's long enough we drag it down okay so that is my edit that i want so that's the cut phase finished now some people will do the will add a music clip in in the next phase or later i like to do it here already so you can either go back to your media pool and drag it in here but i just want to show you a different way you can also drag and drop things straight into this window so if i take a music track like this one and drop it there so you don't have to go through the media pool you can just drop clips and music in here once it's here like with the video clips you can drag it down into your timeline just make sure you're putting it in the right place right up at the front there all right now you can see the music tracks way longer than the video so already at the back here just gonna highlight the music make a cut in it so you treat the soundtrack exactly like you would the video tracks select that and it's gone well, i made it a bit short you can make it a bit longer all right so next step now that everything's in place obviously the levels are off and everything like that so under edit we just want to make sure that we're getting the sound all right now in my case i already pre-deleted the sound on some of these um, but I'm going to show you how how I did that, which is like this. So we're going to push play. All right, you can hear that's way too loud over there. This ambient sound here, I didn't like it either. So when you hover over the soundtrack level here in this timeline, just click and pull it down to somewhere like that. Minus six. It's just ambient background now. But when somebody's talking, you want to bring the sound right down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this over here with this tool. Make it cut. And then at the back of the clip again, you see it locks onto that cut. And we have a little piece here where he's talking. So now if we go back to this tool, these are the two tools that you're going to need, the select tool and the blade tool. And you can grab that audio, same as we did the other one, and bring it down. So have a listen now. From about there, we're going to make another cut with this one, there, and another cut right at the end after all the speaking's done. Go back to the select tool, grab that sound level there, and just pull it down to somewhere like that. In fact, the sound was a bit loud throughout, so we're going to pull that one down a little bit too, so let's see. See, so in my case, I would uh, take the for this last section, make another cut there, and bring this down even further. That's it. Uh, you know, we wanted people to get in touch with where coffee comes from, whether it's the green, the producers, but as well as further. Go minus 12. Uh, you know, we wanted people to get in touch with where coffee comes from, whether it's the green, the producers, but as well as who roasts the coffee. It doesn't come to some mysterious factory in Italy, we roast it right here. And then that one's a bit too loud again. Let's bring that down. All right, and then we're definitely going to want to put a bit of a fade on the back of that. So a quick uh, tip for that is if you highlight the back end, you can always see there is that little um, icon that pops up when you're between two clips. If you click there, 
it'll highlight the, the space between two clips and you can push the control T or command T to add in a transition. So that's what I did here. And it's got a cross fade automatically. See, so it fades out. We can add one at the back here as well. There you go. And it'll fade out nicely. So that's basically all I really needed to achieve in this video is that I wanted to get uh, through it pretty quickly. Um, that's a perfect little short story for, for a platform like Instagram, even, even YouTube. We could add a little bit more talking in about what this video is about. Um, but you can see I've used that 10 shot template to make a short little story about um, our experience of, of ha hand roasted uh, coffee at this uh, place here in Cape Town called Origin. Uh, next step then, because we're going to skip over all the fancy stuff today, is go to deliver. And the main thing that you can focus on here, ignore everything except this here. See that YouTube icon? Click on that and it'll set up the video, all the settings inside so that when you export it, it's for YouTube. Uh, you can just make sure that you're not doing a direct upload because this is just to get the settings right. You want that H.264 um, compression codec. Okay, so once you've got that, name your video. This is going to be the coffee shop preview. This is, and we're going to browse. I want to just put that on my desktop for now. And let's save. All right, so your settings are all ready to go. Then you add it to the render queue. This is where the the it makes a job card for that. And basically, you can just open the menu if you only have this one and start the render. It's going to process the video for you quickly. Uh, it takes a moment only with a short video like this. Uh, it can take, you know, a little bit longer with long videos. But that's it, completed. And on my desktop, as quick as that, we have ready to go. Actually get the, the real taste of the bean. So that was the introduction, just a quick overview of uh, the first four tabs that are important to make a video in a matter of minutes. So we can definitely go into a couple of other things in the next lessons. For example, uh, to show you how to layer up things, something that looks a little bit like this. Um, we wanted people to get in touch with where coffee comes from, whether it's the green, the producers, but as well as who roasts the coffee. It doesn't come in some mysterious factory in Italy. We you get the idea, but we'll get into that in the next lesson. For now, you have what you need to make a cool short video. I look forward to seeing your results. Send them our way, tag us in it, and um, yeah, all the best with your editing. Have fun. I hope that this tutorial was helpful to give you a first view of how to get an edit together from beginning to end using this program. DaVinci Resolve obviously has a ton of other features and there are also a lot of other extra steps that we want to introduce you to as uh, in future lessons like overlaying clips on top of each other for b-roll segments and music editing and color correction and sound editing. There's all these special, you know, things that we can do uh, and we will get to that but right now the most important part was for you to be able to make a video quickly and easily and with today's video you should be able to do that so good luck out there have fun and as usual if you have questions pop them underneath in the comments section you can also click through to learn more about how to get the right clips for your video so that this editing process becomes as easy as it was here in our course, Effortless Editing for Smartphone Video. My name is Dean Parman from TravelVids.tv, the place you get to learn how to make videos the easy way, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers.